Dexter Season 6 episode review video. Before I get into that, though, pretty important. If you are caught up to the point where I am rewatching watching or watching Dexter or you're just not entirely sure, then you definitely need to take the initiative and pay attention to the episode's title, which, of course, I'll mention as well as put in the description for you. If that happens to be the case and you're not caught up, it would be my recommendation that you don't watch this video any further to avoid any potential spoilers. This will be Dexter Season 6, Episode 10. The title of this episode is called Ricochet Rabbit. And this will be my review reaction recap after just finishing watching the episode a few hours ago. Travis is the only doomsday killer and Dexter has made a terrible mistake. Dexter's narration says, Dexter sees Travis talk to nothing as he thinks Geller is still there. Travis tells Ghost Geller that he's going to finish what they started. Dexter decides to cut Geller's hand off so he can use it to keep the cops on Geller. That way he, it's easier for him to get Travis. Deb, Mike Anderson, and Sergeant Batista find the abandoned church. Deb says, Holy Christ on a stick when she realizes they may have kept their victims there. It wasn't an F-bomb, but it's another random line by Deb that's just too corny, in my opinion. And then Deb starts to freak out a little bit. Uh, it may be that she had a panic attack. A painting at the church says Wormwood on it, and of course, Mike Anderson knows all about it. He's like the resident expert when it comes to the Bible and things like that uh, on the show, apparently. That's why they brought him into the show. Matthews had called Deb and asked her out for dinner, somewhere fancy. Lewis Green and Jamie are out for breakfast. And uh, he says Dexter's kind of intense and he's never been, made, seen the guy make a mistake. Uh, and he wants to show him his, uh, his video game that he's made. Uh, briefing room meeting and Captain LaGuerta is going to take the lead on this one. Soderquist is there with the green polo in the background. He's like hiding in the background when he should be at the forefront, in my opinion. I mean, for a guy that's in so many episodes, he's so little focused, especially like after season two or four or whatever it is. He's just been kind of pushed aside. Soderquist needs more time. They need to devote a season and call it Soderquist and have it be all Soderquist. That would be awesome. Anyway, uh, Dexter figures out that Travis Marshall may still be after Holly Benson again. Travis Marshall has fans as Steve has uh, Steve Dorsey has posted on that page. Him and his wife Beth Dorsey are fans, and Beth was actually played by, or Beth is uh, also a character. Uh, her name was Rachel in the show on Ozark, uh, and she's one of my favorite characters, so I was happy to see her in there. Uh, another show with not so great of an ending, better than Shameless, but not much, well, better, but lackluster in my opinion. And they both agree to do whatever Travis Marshall says. They're worshiping him. Dexter goes to Holly Benson's place. And Dexter finds out that Holly may be at her boyfriend's place, Peter Grant. So Dexter goes over there and Peter's daughter is answering the door. She's having a bit of a party and says that Holly was uh, her father's sextress. And she may be on the yacht or the fuck pad. And she wants Dexter to give a message to Holly for her. That's the message, the middle finger. So time to play find the fuck pad, Dexter says for Dexter. And uh, Travis and the Dorseys also show up uh, at the yacht. They capture Holly and Travis says they're going to go for a little cruise. Quinn has unfortunately fallen asleep on the job. Uh, Batista has to kind of wake him up and like, what the fuck are you doing? You need to get your head in the game, you know. Uh, Travis may have been a killer from the start, as apparently Travis killed his parents from what the the report on his deceased doctor uh, says. Dexter finds out where the fuck pad, the yacht is, and he knows uh, that marina. So Deb has another session with uh, Dr. Michelle Ross. Every time shit hits the fan... She goes to Dexter. Travis wants to kill Holly. Travis slits Holly's throat and Peter stabs her. Did I? Peter? Where did I come up with Peter? And Steve stabs her. Lewis Green shows Dexter his uh, homicide game. Uh, Dexter says this is offensive. Who would choose a serial killer? 
it makes Lewis Green sad and he no longer wants to go on a date with Jamie so Jamie can babysit now because she was going to leave but she's open to take Harrison for the night if need be. Dexter goes to look at the security footage at the marina. He has to distract the security guard and he finds out that Travis Marshall was indeed on the boat and he's the one that drove the boat away. Uh, Travis tells the Dorseys that God never said this would be easy. Uh, Deb finds out that Tom Matthews sent Jessica more flowers the day that she died. Lewis Green has figured out where Doomsday Adam is, a.k.a. Steve Dorsey. Batista says he'll call Quinn and check on it. And then Lewis Green mumbles to himself, at least someone appreciates him. Batista goes to the Dorsey's house. Dexter has found the fuck pad. He stabs somebody with a knife that's in a hazmat suit because they kind of attacked him. Uh, it was actually Steve Dorsey. Batista at the, the Dorsey's, uh, he, as he's leaving or walking around, I don't know if he was actually going to leave, but he gets up and kind of sees a book, a bunch of books on the shelf that are by James Geller. And then all of a sudden, Travis Marshall knocks him out with a, a, a bigger size cross. Dexter finds Holly Benson dead. Damn. Ghost Harry tells Dexter he's got to call the police. So Dexter calls the police and says that uh, where the Doomsday Killer is, and or are, I should say, and hurry up, they have poison gas. And that conversation is what ends the episode. So another episode that just, I don't know, I just didn't really like it that much. Deb is your character, your female character of the episode. Uh, LaGuerta had a little bit more to do, but still not character of the episode material yet. And your male character of the episode, surprisingly, I'm going to go with Lewis, Lewis Green again. Uh, just because he's doing stuff and making stuff happen. I mean, obviously Dexter is numero uno, but uh, I got to give it to Lewis. I thought about giving it to Batista, but no. And I also thought about giving it to Travis Marshall, but I don't know. Just something about Travis Marshall. I just don't like him as a character. He doesn't impress me at all. So uh, you've heard what I have to say. Now, of course, it's your turn. Uh, if you're a fan of Dexter or Dexter New Blood, which I hope you are, you're watching these videos uh, and you want to help me out with the YouTube algorithm, uh, please make sure that you smash that like button. I'm getting like five to seven likes per video. Yeah, probably around five. I would like to get 10, and I see that like 15 to 20 people sometimes watch these videos. I know it's not current and nobody gives a shit about it, but if you're watching the video and you could smash the like button just to help out the channel, I would be appreciative, appreciative of that. Uh, Share the video with whomever you want or put it on any of your social media platforms that you feel comfortable putting it on. Uh, sound off in the comment section about what your thoughts are on this episode. What would you rate it? And who would be your male and female characters of the episode? Uh, if you have a favorite moment, I didn't really like any of the moments, so I didn't include one. And last but certainly not least, uh, you're watching the video, so don't forget to hit that sub button, subscribe to the channel, join the team, show your damn support and be a part of something special. And JDev will return.